Hi everyone, this is GameWatcher1996, and today I'm going to teach y'all how to make a uh, water bending without the particle system. So first of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need some footage and drag it into the new composition. And in this footage, you need you coming out like you're holding uh, something like that, like you would see an avatar. And <clears throat> go ahead and scale down this video here, drag it to where about where I come in, drag the yellow bar there, and come about right here where I go out, drag the yellow bar there, and I'll go up here to um composition uh, trim comp to work area and let's see here and now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our water picture uh, you're going to need a water picture like on google or somewhere and you're going to extend this out to about like right there or decrease it however your footage come your picture comes out now you're going to take your pen tool and start making like a circle not to be completely perfect but just enough to <clears throat> know that it's a circle do a little fine touch on it Round it off a little bit. That'll work. And now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna to uh let's see here. we're gonna hide our eye tool and we're going to bring our person in to where we want the ball to start being made. So about right there. Let's try that. <clears throat> so let's bring our eye back on and let's go to let's go to scale. Hit hit S for scale and hit the um, stopwatch and let's set it for zero right. set for zero there we go so now it's completely invisible let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move it right there okay, so from that point to that point let's make it a uh, scale again to Let's try 150. Too big. And it depends on your size. Oh, let's try 100. That. Let's try 75 or 80. That's good. All right. So <clears throat> now you got like a ball there. And what it'll do now is it will um, expand inward. And let's go back to the beginning of our video again. Let's see here. Make it the beginning of our video, and let's hit um, click right on the uh, water, and click effect, distort, swirl, and this, let's set the swirl for zero. Hit the uh, hit the eyeglass here, and this swirl radius, and yeah. So now it's going to do is set for zero until the end of the video. Set it for say 50 see how that looks. So now it's going to be like a swirl there. And let's see here. Actually let's set it for a little bit something smaller. Let's set it for maybe something like 20. Maybe even 10. Let me just see. Five, three. Try that. There we go. So you still want like a little bit of a... You still want it to be look like like water. Like it don't fade out too much, it is just right. <clears throat> so what you're gonna want to do now? Again, come to the beginning of your video, and let's see here. Now what you're gonna want to do is you're going to drag it up to where you where it's at full height. Should be right there where that marker's at. <clears throat> and click and click on water and click on position. Click the um, click the stopwatch, <clears throat> and let's drag it as it. Moves. That way it gives a little bit of a. Uh, like it's not just standing still. Just kind of move around with it.
let's say it for there. And let's see. <coughs> just drag it. When once the arm is extended all the way out, just come to about right here. And right there and actually right there. So at this point in time right here, we want to have a little blur to it. So let's put it there, cl click right, and hit effect, and blur and sharpen, directional blur. Set the direction for negative 90. And blur length about like, maybe like somewhere near, try 6. And let's see here. Actually, I think it needs to be set for negative 90 on the other side. Let me try that instead. It's here. Negative 90. Okay. Alright. So now it's set for negative 90. And let's see here. And let's see how that looks so far. So you're kind of messing around with it there. Still swirling and whoosh. And let's uh, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna speed up the um, the rotation uh, sequence of the um, swirl. And there's a way to do that too. It's very simple. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to um, we have our footage again, right there, and we're gonna click on R for rotation. Click the stopwatch, set for zero, go to the end of the footage, and let's set the rotation to, on the left side, set the rotation, let's say to 15, let's see how that looks. It might need to be uh, centered, let's see here. And two, this is just the, uh, this is going kind of slow because it's in the uh, process. So let's see here, swirling inward and whoosh. I think it's good. Might even set the rotation at the end to 30. Let's see how that looks. I want it to go might be about normal speed. That looks great. Boom. Alright, so now just go up here to, to finish it off. Go up to Composition. Add to Render Queue. And click on Render. And that's pretty much you do it. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. And please check out my page for all kinds of new videos. Um, leave a comment if you would like me to make any more videos. Check us out on YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, um, a lot of uh, famous websites such as Stumble Upon, um, Reddit, and Flashdot. Just uh, come check it out. Uh, join my page on Facebook at GameWatcher1996. And thanks for watching. Bye.